This video is using Tone Tip. Get free content wherever you get your apps. Two friends here today, Matt McCarl with New Leaf Hyperbarics and Marty Gator with GeForce. He is the man with the technology know-how for our conference and for what we're doing today. So I have some exciting, fun things to share about Matt McCarl with New Leaf Hyperbarics. Matt has been a sponsor and a very good friend for all four of our conferences. So he's been with me through thick and thin, you might say. And um, I'm so happy he's here today and so happy he's my friend and a sponsor. Um, in a couple of minutes here, Matt will share a little bit about his experiences at our conference and what new Leaf Hyperbarics is all about. So take it away, Matt. Oh, that quick, cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I remember, well, it's actually not four years ago, it's actually been six years ago, right? Right. When me and Paula met at a, at a networking event and she explained to me what she was doing to help folks with uh, amputeeism and how there really was not a network for folks to be able to know what to do once this event has happened to them. So I thought that was really cool. As well as with Hyperbarics, I knew there was a way to help those folks in another way that probably not very many people heard of and needed to get the word out. And so us partnering up was a win-win for both of us. Absolutely. Um, I've also had Matt come and talk and present New Leaf Hyperbarics at our um, support meetings. So I do a peer visiting program for new amputees and, and people that have been around the block, you might say. And we have monthly support meetings and I actually run two monthly support meetings. And learn about hyperbarics. And the big thing I hear from them is the it, while they're in the hyperbaric chamber, it may be the first time they haven't had phantom pain. And with enough hyperbarics, I've had other folks say that that phantom pain stays away for a while, even out of the chamber, which is pretty awesome for those folks. Or folks that were new amputees and they had wounds that were still, or their surgery site had healed, but they were now getting the prosthetic and the prosthetics causing wear spots and causing spots to open back up on their limb. And they're able to come in and treat and keep that from getting infected or not healing as fast as it should, using the hyperbarics and the extra oxygen to help things heal faster. Like Paula mentioned, yeah, we're putting four times the amount of oxygen in your body, not just in your body, but in your plasma. So it's able to get five times farther into every cell. And since oxygen is a natural anti-inflammatory and a healer, it really helps things feel better and heal faster. Because a lot of times some folks may have diabetes and that's why they lost the limb and then a lot of times that's due to lack of circulation to that area so with hyperx we're getting more circulation there and that's one thing that really helps those folks and if, you know if they were able to get better access to hyperx prior to getting to the point to where they had to lose the limb they may not have had to lose it and that's why there is centers like mckinsey willamette wound center <clears throat> in eugene that does you know that type of stuff for non-healing diabetic wounds. Yeah, and it is kind of unfortunate because most, there's a larger number of amputees due to a vascular issue than going out and crashing a motorcycle. Even though I've been in meetings where there's nine of us and five of us were a motorcycle accident. You know, not, not a really good advertisement for all the time that she contributes her healing and her health and her ability to do so many wonderful things to New Leaf Hyperbarics. And she's also a good friend of Matt's. And um, being she's in her early 70s and I'm in my late 60s, we did a four day backpacking trip last year that, you know, really, really, we, we talk about that a lot because again, now she's yeah, she's a completely different lady now than when I even went before her accident and when I first met her. She's a much different lady now. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, was, I was gonna say I know Matt. Matt I've just been uh, around you and seen you. I, actually, I do. I don't know if you remember the very first time I met you. Really was 
at the convention center for some kind of expo and you were you and I were both back in some room I was changing and I remember I'm like oh that's the O2 for you guy and I never quite understood what the heck it was you were doing and what this whole oxygen and air thing was at the time because it was still so new in the area and then i just see you know, you know i've been in a few times to to use your services you know i dj'd your daughter's wedding and i mean all these things that all these things that have, i've seen all the people you've helped and then to see you a part of this event as well and all the people that you you know helped along with the, you know people with limb loss as well I'm, I'm just encouraged to see that there's always use for O2 for you. Mm -hmm. You're right, and it just keeps going. I mean, I, I, it's just amazing what that air stuff does. It's crazy. Right. So you're right. People, he's right. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. And you have created a program to help those folks. It's very similar to, and I think somebody needs to make this for folks too. When my mom passed away, she was the you know last of my parents to pass away, and I was made executor of the estate. and. There is really not much out there to tell you what to do. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of things out in the world that would benefit from all kinds of things similar, you know, like what you're doing for folks with limb loss, there's other opportunities for, for folks out there to create programs for that as well. Because it's there's a lot of stuff out there that is needed. It's just, you gotta find the right person to head that up and you are the right person to head this up for folks that have limb loss. Thank you very much. And, you know, as well as everyone's doing it for me too, because it, it really gives me energy, whether it's a really bad situation that you've walked into. And now, you know, sometimes you just can't help people, but most of the right. time. Everybody will prosper. Yeah. Hey, that's so good to know. I love that. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, Marty. Thank you for having me and uh, look forward to next year. Okay, yay!